people! Welcome to Bluebird Pottery JPS. I haven't done a video also now for a long time. I think it's a month. Um, so it's my birthday on Wednesday and guess what my husband did? He surprised me with molds. Can you imagine? I've never done it before. Slip mold. What's it? Slip casting. So this will be the first time I'll be doing that. I'll show you the process that I've been watching from other people and you know I'll maybe I'll do it right, maybe I'll do it wrong but um Let's see how it's going to come out. So these are the molds my husband bought me. Um, I've got more. He got a lot for a nice price. And it's basically like mystery molds. So I'm going to slip them. I'm going to cast them. I'm going to, and then I'm going to show you if it came out perfect. I'll show you how I do my slip. Um, and, you know, let's see what they are. I have cleaned them out. Um, so let's get to it. I'm so excited. Guys, this was my bone dry um, off pieces, um, damaged pieces or pieces I don't like, mugs, bowls, anything that you made and I threw it in a bag and then left them to dry long in the bag and then I threw them in this bucket, a heavier and I uh, threw water with my dried bone wear and um, yes, overnight, the next morning I mixed it all up and this is what I have now, slip. So I've got bubbles in there, so I don't know if that's right or wrong, but I'll try to get as much bubbles out, um, you know, if I can, I'm going to try to get some bubbles out. I'm, hope, I'm hoping I'm doing the right thing. From here, um, my slip is, I think this is how it should be, not thick, not thin, just in between. And from there, I'm going to be sifting it to get all the big pieces, lumps or stones or anything that was interfering with my mixture. and those, the clear one that comes in this bowl, that's what I'm going to use to slip cast. Okay, here we go. So I've just got, I don't know if you can see, just fine little stones. In so, I don't have the elastic bands that goes over these things. And um, I've got brown tape, that's all I have. So I'm going to sellotape tape it. So it can stay together. Um, it should work. I'm not going to be moving them a lot around. And for the time being, this is what I'm going to be using. And let's see how they come out. And I'm going to pour them. I'm going to pour them first and then we can see how they can come out. Okay, yeah. 